In this video, we will study about formation of seed, formation of embryo, life cycle of zingobiloba, economic importance of zingobiloba. Zingobiloba is called as living fossil. This is the only living genera of the order zingoales. All other genera have become extinct. So we'll study in detail how zygote develops into embryo. But to study the morphology, formation of male strobili, female strobili, you have to watch my videos. Link is shared in the description box. So when male strobili produces pollen grains and female strobili has archegonia, egg is mature, then archegonia egg and male sperm, they will fuse to form a diploid structure called as a zygote. So this is the zygote which is produced after fertilization. Uh, so this is the first cell of sporophytic generation. This is diploid in genetic constitution. Now this will undergo mitotic cell division. First this will form two nuclei, then four, then eight, 16, 32, and almost about 256 nuclei. And cell wall formation will occur and this will become cellular. Now this is the formation of the embryo. Embryo start differentiating and at the tip, uh, meristematic cells, uh, this part of the archegonia is phasing toward the chalazal end and these are the meristematic cells. Meristematic cells are the cells which have capacity to divide and re-divide. So they will divide and help in differentiation of the embryo. So embryo will get differentiated. We can see here, these are two cotyledons and in the center is present plumule or shoot apex. And this part of the embryo which is phasing toward the micropillar end, this is called as a radical. So ultimately this embryo will become mature and inside the ovule uh, when embryo has become mature this will ripen to form seed. Uh, seeds they are orange in color. Now we can see the structure of the seed. Uh, this is longitudinal section of the seed. Now again we can see at the base is present collar. This is collar. Uh, like outermost covering called as integument. Uh, now that will ripen to form seed coat. Now seed coat becomes three layered, outer fleshy layer, middle stony layer and inner fleshy layer. And this part is nucellus. Inside nucellus is present female gametophyte. This is the female gametophyte. And this is the protruded part at the micropillar end. This is called as tent pole. And this is the mature embryo which is present inside the female gametophyte. Female gametophyte is haploid. But this part, uh, embryo, because this is being produced from the zygote after mitotic cell division, uh, this is diploid. This part is plumule and these are the cotyledon. These, this is mature embryo. Now we can see these seeds, they will germinate uh, to form the young sporophyte or young seedling. Uh, germination of seed is hypogeal. Hypogeal mean uh, cotyledons, they remain inside the ground. They don't come above the ground. They help in nourishment of the developing embryo. So this is called as hypogeal. So seed germinate to form young seedling. We can see how this happens. Now this is the uh, seed of the zingobiloba. Now seed. Uh, this will like this is seed just a moment I have to this is seed right and when this will germinate we can see first thing which comes out is radical and then other thing which will come out is plumule so this will form shoot system and this will form root system so cotyledons they will remain inside the ground. Now we can see here uh, this is the seed which is germinating. So radical will come out and this will develop into root system. A root system develops root hairs. A root system is tap root system in case of zingo biloba. Now here we can see cotyledons will remain inside the seed. This is the plumule part which will come out and later on this will form the shoot system. We can see plumule will develop into uh, stem branches and leaves so this is the young seedling these are the young leaves which will be in a bilobed condition and this is the root system which will develop from the radical part so this will be the mature root and ultimately this young seedling will help in development of uh, into mature sporophyte so young sporophyte will give rise to mature sporophyte so this is mature sporophyte 
we can see the mature sporophyte that is mature plant of zingo biloba now this is the stem part and this is the uh, uh, foliage branches shoot system and root system is tap root system so ultimately this young seedling has given rise to a mature plant and sporophyte mature sporophyte get differentiated into root stem and leaf so we can say seed has germinated to form young seedling or young sporophyte this has given rise to mature sporophyte now mature sporophyte get differentiated to form root stem and leaf so with this life cycle of zingo biloba will be completed now in the next slide we'll study in detail what is the life cycle of zingo biloba so as we have seen uh, this is the mature plant of zingo biloba it is differentiated into stem branches and leaves and root system when this plant becomes mature this will start bearing male cones and female cones now this is the picture of the male cone male strobili again uh, if you want to see the details of the male strobili you can watch my video link is shared in the description box now this will bear this male strobili will bear male cones right and this is having microsporophyll bearing microsporangia now microsporangia will produce the pollen grains now these pollen grains inside the pollen grain two male gametes they are produced uh, so this is haploid in genetic constitution now this is about female strobili this is the female strobili so this is bearing ovules after fertilization like this is the structure of the ovule like this is a female gametophyte archegonia nucellus and this is the outermost covering called as integument this is the micropyle and these are the pollen grains now this pollen grains germinate to form male gamete and they will reach toward the archegonia and fertilization will take place uh, to study the whole detail of fertilization structure of ovule you can again watch my video of female strobili link is shared in the description box and how this fertilization occurs so ultimately fertilization will take place and diploid structure zygote is produced now zygote will develop into now this is the archegonia where fertilization is taking place a male and female gamete they are fusing now male gamete is haploid female gamete is haploid when they will fuse this will become diploid in genetic constitution now this will develop into uh, embryo so zygote will develop into embryo and ovule when embryo is mature this will ripen to form the seed so this is the longitudinal section of the seed like we have earlier discussed in the previous slide okay how this seed matures up and this become orange in color and these are the seeds of the zingo biloba now this seeds they will germinate they will germinate to form young seedling and young seedling will develop into mature plant so i'll again repeat so this is the mature plant of the zingo biloba this pair male strobili this pair female strobili male strobili will have microsporangia this will have pollen grains they will germinate to form pollen tube and male gametes and this is the female structure female strobili this is the ovule part and this is the ovule where pollen in pollen chamber uh, this pollen grain will fall at four cell stage later on they will germinate to form the male gametes and then uh, in the archegonia this fertilization will take place and this will lead to the formation of diploid structure called as zygote and ovule will ripen to form seed and this is the seed and ultimately they will germinate to form young seedling and young seedling will develop into mature sporophyte so this is all about life cycle of uh, zingo biloba now we'll discuss in the next slide about its economic importance how zingo biloba is economically important now its seeds are highly nutritious they are roasted and eaten as food in china and japan and it also has its medicinal value zingo leaves they are used for the treatment of asthma toxic shook alzheimer's disease anxiety depression dementia dementia is uh, memory loss uh, alzheimer is again brains uh, neurodegenerative changes uh, this will lead to uh, memory loss so that is cured with the help of zingo leaves in united states in many streets a zingo biloba can be grown as a shade tree and in china and japan this is worshiped so this is all about formation of seed development of embryo life cycle of zingo biloba if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching